Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to talk you through how I made these lovely little heart decorations just in time for Christmas. So this is my last Christmassy make for this year. So I start with these two 10 centimeter plywood hearts and I paint them white. The paint that I use is Wilco's furniture paint in the color white but any acrylic or chalk paint will do for this so I'm just using this paint as a primer in this case because we're going to be applying a structure paste or multi-filler paste over the top and then repainting it anyway so at this point whatever paint that you have will do really so it doesn't really matter what kind of color you pick and so I just apply one coat of this paint Once my paint is dry, I go ahead and apply my all-purpose paste through the stencil. So the paste that I'm using is uh, by the brand 151 and it just, it literally is just an all-purpose filler from a DIY section in my local shop. And I just pick a little bit up with my palette knife and I gently apply it through the stencil while holding the stencil down using my fingers. You could also use the special adhesive that people use for stencils. I don't have any of that um, to hold it in place so I just use my fingers in this case. Because the stencil is quite small it's quite easy for me to handle it so I just apply. Um, I try to get as even of a coat as I possibly can and then I uh, kind of try and remove as much excess as I can and I gently remove the stencil, clean it on both sides and then do the same to the other hearts. So I apply the multi-purpose paste to both hearts but only on one side. So while I'm waiting for my multi-purpose filler to dry, I apply my contour and my little dots. So for this I'm using um, 3D Pearl Effect by Dovecraft. You could use um, liquid pearls, you could use special contour liners, anything that you can use to kind of draw things onto, onto your wood will do. That's kind of 3D like and will stay in that shape. So I used to only use contour liners but when I eventually ran out and I still needed to do some stuff, I tried my liquid pearls and they work just fine. So I find that liquid pearls uh, tend to be a lot cheaper than contour liners. So here's a little money saver for you. So I go ahead and I apply it around the edges and I just kind of do a dot and then I drag it along in to form a line and then another dot, another line and so on. And then I add little dots in the middle. As you can see I've had a few little mishaps there in a few places where um, the, the dot came out a little bit too big so I just take either a cloth or a brush and just gently tidy it away. And once my filler paste and my liquid pearls are dry I go ahead and I paint it this teal colour which once again I'm still trying to use it up. <laughs> I've, I've made way too much for that last project that I did with this paint and so I'm still trying to get through it. So that's what I used to paint it and I applied two coats of this paint on both hearts. I only did the front for now and left the back till later because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the back but I ended up painting the back afterwards with the same paint so you could easily go ahead and paint front and back if you was to follow this tutorial. After both of the coats of paint were dry, I go ahead and I apply my Gilson Flakes on top of my raised stencil. So for this I'm just using Mod Podge to glue my gilding flakes down. For this kind of project um, ideally you would need specific gilding glue and also gold leaf or silver leaf would do much better than gold flakes or silver flakes or whatever you want to use. The leaves would be a lot better than flakes because they would be a lot easier to apply but I have three of these tubs of silver copper and gold um, flakes that I really need to put to use so until I've used them up <laughs> I'm just gonna have to go ahead and 
um, use what I have and again for the projects that I have been doing Mod Podge has been working just as fine so I work in tiny little sections because Mod Podge does uh, tend to dry quite quickly. I carefully apply Mod Podge on top of the raised bits uh, with a little brush and then I apply my gilding flakes and I kind of press them down using this little flat brush and I leave them to dry and I decided to go with silver leaf for one heart and then gold leaf for the other to make them look a little bit different. After I've applied flakes to both hearts I leave them to dry for a couple of hours and then use them the same flat brush I gently brush over them to get all of the excess removed. For some reason I cannot find the video file where I filmed myself actually removing the flakes so uh, apologies for that but, but I just gently brush them away using that same flat brush that you can see me use there. After all of the excess gilding flakes were removed I apply some more paint over the top of the heart just to add a little bit of shading, a little bit of dimension to my heart so for this I used acrylic paint by Daily Art in the shades Olive and Mint and I use a flat brush using a dry brush technique which is basically I pick up a tiny little bit of paint and then I wipe it away so that the brush is practically dry and I just kind of gently brush over it so that any leftover paint on the brush just sticks to the top of the heart and it doesn't cover all of the paint that is underneath it and then I do the same with this mint color as well over the top but even a little bit less of it than I used olive to make sure that through the gaps you are able to see both the bottom layer which is my teal color and the olive color that I just applied before that. Then I take my gold and silver deco waxes and I apply them over the top of my hearts. So gold on the gold heart and silver on the silver heart because I wanted to make them a little bit more festive, a little bit more shiny as they are going on my Christmas tree. So I just use my finger to pick a little bit up out of the tub and then I gently spread it around and then I go over the top of all of the raised bits over the top of the background slightly just to make sure that it's also a little bit shiny and I do that to the front, the sides and the back of the heart as well. So the last thing that I wanted to do was to just apply a little bit of white paint using a sponge dabber over all of the raised bits and over the edges and the back just to make it a little bit snowy, a little bit more Victorian, I don't know, for some reason adding white paint makes it look a little bit more Victorian in my head. So that's what I did and then I just added a jute string so that I can hang it. And that is it. So that's the tutorial for little Christmas heart decorations. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more. There's going to be links in the description to all of my social media, Facebook, Instagram. Also, check out my Etsy store. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.